Right, uh, here's Jim Higgs out in the centre, and uh, in the commentary box now, Bill Lurry. Thank you, Richie. It's going to be Cairns to continue. It's gone 27 overs, five maidens, two for 68. It's bowling to Higgs with two short legs, silly point, with Gully in the slip. He bounces it, and Higgs is out. He's called a no ball. Dear, oh dear, the New Zealanders are leaving. A, a call from Robin Bale, they should intimidating the batsman. Well, 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 I don't know. He's wearing a helmet. He's a number 11 who's added 18 runs in the last wicket partnership and he's called a unfair delivery. Well, Ian Chappell, what do you think of that? Well, that's making a bit of a mockery of it, I think, Bill. The uh, man of Lance Cairns' pace uh, should be entitled to do that. Strike me array on this uh, sort of wicket. I think that uh, you know, they, they can play with tennis balls or have ladies cricket or something. That you know that really is taking it a bit too far, I think. And <laughs> doesn't Jeff Howe think so? Well, I don't know whether Jeff Howe has ever sworn, but he's entitled to swear now. And that was a good delivery. He comes forward on the front foot as Thailanders do do on this very placid Melbourne wicket. So he commits himself forward, comes forward. He's going to come forward with that front foot, just poke it down the wicket. And Can sees him coming forward, drops it in short. He gets a deflection, he's out caught behind, and Robin Bailash calls an illegal delivery. Well, I never thought I'd see the day on the Plum Melbourne wicket, and Howard quite rightly having a lot to say. And Robin Bailash there has got himself in a real hole now, as he's going to make it very difficult for fast bowlers to ever bowl out. Lower order batsmen are prepared to face straight down the pitch, and Howard would be very annoyed. Well, well, well. Crowd with Jim Higgs, 